So diodes are basically one-way devices. So the way we draw diodes in terms of diagrams is going to be like this triangle with this little line at the bottom of it. So that's kind of, so diodes are basically one-way devices. So they only allow current to flow through one direction. So you guys already did that with the experimental design. You saw that if you did the short leg, it wouldn't work no matter what, but if you did the long leg, it would work. So diodes only allow current to flow through one direction. If they go through the other direction, they'll block the current. Um, LEDs are a type of diode. They stand for light emitting diode. So diodes usually emit their energy that they receive through heat. Um, light emitting diodes just convert that into light energy instead. Um, one thing to know is that the, unlike resistors, diodes have a set voltage they will always consume. So you guys saw that when you had one battery versus two batteries. If you had one battery, it didn't always turn on. If you had two, it usually did. So there's usually a set voltage that makes the LED jump so that it works. And it will always consume that amount of power. That's why it's very careful. You need to be very careful in attaching other elements to LEDs and diodes. So basically, what's gonna this project is kind of like what you did with the experiment, where you have diodes with resistors. Um, so the important thing to know, you have to put diodes. You usually have to put diodes with resistors. So the diodes will always consume a certain amount of voltage, but they can only handle so much current before they glow. Mm -hmm. So we take the resistors in there so that they can absorb some of the extra and current, reduce the total current that's available in the circuit. So that way, there's less load affecting that diode, but it can still have the same voltage it needs to turn on. So basically, it's just describing how the diodes always consume a certain amount of voltage and how we need to put resistors in series in order to absorb some of the load so these diodes don't overload. Yeah.